Welcome back, everybody. Hey, guys. Hey, so uh, last time we, we played as Dingle Dial, and this time we're going to play as Dingle Dial. Oh. Uh, yeah, next it, time we'll a double play dingle? as Dingle Dial. Yeah, a, you. No. A double Dingle. No. <laughs> double um, D's. You're, 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 your wife should love um, the word Dingle Dial or the word Dingo because it was something brought up in a classic John Oliver skit. You should, I, you should ask her about it. She'll I will. I will it. have to ask her about it. Oh, she does. She'll probably tell you. She probably remembers it very fondly. I wish they had um, skins for these side characters. Classic Dingo Die would be fun. I only need. I would like some skins for Tanya. For Tana, sorry, Tana. Oh, I bet that, you would like some skin oh, for Tana. That would be. That would be a good time. That would be a good time. Um, because <laughs> they definitely gave her a lot of skins in them. The CTR remake. They gave her a lot of something. They. Well, they didn't give her as much something as they did in this game. <laughs> in this game, they gave her a lot of something. <laughs> or more of a lot of everything. Yep. Um, um, she's a, a whole lot of Good girl everything. thick. She, yeah, as, she, as my wife says with two, C, with two C's. I think that's what everybody says, not just well, your wife. Well, my wife says it, so... That's what she what? says. Hey, of course, it is also what everyone else says. Okay, his, vo his voice is, is good. His approved. voice is still, his voice is approved. Um, because he 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 sounded Australian. He's supposed to sound Australian, so there's at least that. All right, let's see how this how much this level fucks me up. All right. I remember I remember the the um alternate version of this level, the original version of this level, and I hated it. So yes, see how this yeah, yeah, those freaking uh, rats on the the yeah spinning. What is going on? You gotta with shoot this? the you gotta shoot the TNT over there. Oh, you're right. Yeah. What would you do without me? <laughs> Stare at that until I figured it out. Yeah, exactly. Waste of time. Waste. Of, look at me just waste it. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> <laughs> I like how it kind of illuminated the the little the uh -huh. structure that was under the water. Yeah. <laughs> you know, for some of these hidden gems, saying hidden gems are not really all that hidden at all, honestly. I mean, you could. It doesn't show up. You don't see it unless you, you know, go over there. Well, the thing is, I don't even try, and I just end up running into them. Or some of them are literally in plain sight, and it's like, you can't call that a hidden gem. Just just nitpicking here, that's all. <laughs> oh, but last episode we talked about um, how we played the PS2 so differently. Um, and yeah, David is... And he's still more of a sports kind of guy than me. But yeah, I played... I still kind of stayed within my own bubble of gaming, just like you did. And I guess just my bubbles have more, allow for more variety. Of yeah, types I mean, of games. so like if you if you had to say like what your like what styles of games you you gravitate towards, what would you say? Well, they don't make them anymore. At least not. I mean, I guess maybe the last two years they have, but like for a long time they stopped making like platformers and you know three D action platformers. I'm a sucker for those. I'm a fucking sucker for him. Um, ever since, you know, obviously Spyro and Crash, they start they kind of like popularized it. Um, and then obviously the PS2 era with Sly Cooper and Ratchet and Jack. Oh Jesus! Um, you know, and Jack and uh, I think those are the main three. But I think there was some others as well. Like just I'm just a fucking sucker for him. Um, there was actually a game that came out on the PS4. And Xbox One a couple years ago. It was a digital title only. It was called Skylar and Flux, I believe, or something like that. I haven't played it yet, but I'm going to because it's it's it follows that same formula hmm. of like being a 3D action platformer. And if and when I ever do brush off my Xbox, I will get that one game. Um, what was it called? Recore, I think it was. Yeah, uh, I heard about Recore. Which was supposed. I mean, it didn't get a whole lot of love, but it was supposed to be like a platform type of game, and that's right on my alley. So. I'll definitely play that um but i'm just a sucker for those man like like if that's that's why like i mean you only need to tell me like when spyro you know crash first came out or we're gonna release i was like you don't even need to tell me anything like i'm, I'm in i'm in you don't need to explain nothing to me i'm in um and the spyro was like say no more like i'm in you don't you need you no explaining for me just and if they ever it, yeah just I'm, just, just, I'm, I'm gonna get it don't don't you don't you have my money all right <laughs> you have my money don't worry about it um and if they ever did release a new you know um come on turn around oh jace oh jace okay we're good 
if they ever do release um, a new, you know, a new Jack and Dexter, which people have been clamoring for for fucking years, um, if that ever did happen, day one, day one, um, oh, that's funny. If they ever release, like, what I, man, the, the holy grail for me would be fucking, um, what I would call, like, a Ratchet and Clank Legacy collection for, like, PS5 or something that has, like, all the previous Ratchet games because there's, like, 12 of them. And, man, to have something like that would be, would be just a wet dream come true. Oh, the wettest of dreams, too, man. Like, oh, jeez. Like we're talking, we're talking like buckets of splooge, man. All right, <laughs> we're talking, we're talking aquariums full of it. All right, man. Like, it, it would be a problem. All right. I, I clean, got you. I got you. Clean up, clean up on literally the whole fucking store. All right. <laughs> um, I'd be like, you know, I don't. And the, I, the thing is, I would, I don't even care about the price. Like, that, that, like I'm that kind of person. Like, there, there's a concept in in business and economics of um, the elasticity of a dollar. And you lost this, and like just kind of the elasticity of just like how much, how far how, can you price something? Yeah, what is it worth for the consumer? Yeah, basically, basically gauging the worth of something, the perceived yeah. value of something to people. Yeah, what's and, to say what, um, what a what fuck? a game is actually Whoa! worth? Whoa! Whoa! I didn't even. See. Good thing I died a few times. Um, <laughs> yeah, basically that, something like that, bro. I don't even care of the price. I, I don't even I don't even care. I, I don't I don't even care. Like if that if like a legacy clutch of Ratchet Clank was like a hundred bucks, here's two hundred bucks. I don't give a shit. Like I want it. Give it to me now. Um, gosh damn it, should have done that. Um, you know it's just that's just my shit. But like but beyond that, you got just just general you know just third person action adventure games, which. That encompasses a lot of types of games. It does, but um, I don't. I don't remember you really playing like, like Assassin's Creed all that much. Well, I don't talk about it much because it's not a game that's like in my tops of anything. Mm -hmm. Given given they are quality quality games, mm -hmm. but I have played them all up until four. Four is the four? last one I have played. Oh, okay, last one. I was like, four is like my favorite. I was like, you haven't played four. You just need to go back and play four because. Oh, I know. Four is excellent. Trust me, I remember I was in I was in college at the time, and like that that and um, Uncharted three were just like the two fucking like it, oh come the fuck on, were like the two fucking like it games during the time. Um, yeah, I mean, I I I um, uh, I remember there was a collector's edition of Assassin's Creed 4 that was traded in the GameStop and it had um, the soundtrack, like the sea shanties and stuff. And because that disc isn't required for like a used Assassin's Creed 4, mm -hmm. uh, I took it. And yeah, I, you nabbed that real fast, didn't you? Yeah, I nabbed that real fast. And I played it in my car, just the sea shanties as I'm driving. Just, it was awesome. That's actually how I ended up nabbing the um, Steelbook for the collector's edition. Yeah, I think... Well, I, ha I don't know when we did this, but I mean, I wouldn't have wanted that, so maybe we probably, I could imagine us just splitting I don't, that. I, no, I was there at the time. I was actually there um, when someone traded it in. I was actually working that day, and I was just like, and I already knew the policy. I already know how it works. I was like, <laughs> well, I'm taking this. Thank you. <laughs> this, this is mine now. <laughs> this is uh, going to be mine. Yeah, I mean, I I guess mine isn't as, as narrow. Like, I definitely love my sports games. I love... Um, I love simulation, like like strategy and simulation. So sports games, not only do I just have an interest in sports, it also lends itself to simulation and strategy. Um, but I love like civilization, um, any kind of like civilization sim games. Um, I love those. And then uh, I love RPGs, um, like uh, like, the you know fallouts the good fallouts and yeah it took me a long time to get into rpgs it took me a long time and i and, and i've only played only a small a small handful of them and i i it, it's really weird for me because like i definitely i tend to gravitate towards rpgs where i create my own character um but that being said like there's so like I I don't really like JRPGs, um, but then there are some JRPGs I love, 
so like, um, for example, I don't know if it's a JRPG per se, but Fire Emblem, the newest Fire Emblem, Three Houses, is awesome. And I don't know, like, it has RPG elements, but yeah. I don't know, like, I, I'm, I'm all over the place. I love first-person shooters, um, good first-person shooters. Uh, well, you've also, I mean, one thing we've, we've, we've both done is that our tastes have grown over the yeah. years since we were kids because like i i used to be very very strict in types of games like i i i had i made like a stupid vow myself like i would never play an fps in my life <laughs> um when i was like really young like until, like when i was a teenager it took me until i was because like, everybody was playing it was mostly because kind of be like i, I guess the counter culture yeah um because i didn't like the culture with fps's um it lends stuff to being a little too bro -y, and i'm not about that life um, and I just don't like FPS perspective most of the time. I really don't. Mm -hmm. um, and even though I did, even though I had played and loved Mirror's Edge, I don't consider that the same thing. Um, yeah, it's definitely a platformer at heart. And most people don't consider it the same thing, even though, yes, it is a first person perspective. Um, it took me, it took good old fucking Metro that. David definitely knows the story. It took me to play Metro series for me to get in to um, FPSs. Yeah, I remember you like when you first like were were talking about playing Metro. Do you? Yeah. Was it when when I was a wee boy, when I was just a little one? Well, I just I just remember I remember that that being a thing and, and that I was surprised that you were playing it. And I can't remember why you, I think it's because you heard about the, the interesting economy of like the, the guns at the bullets as the, the currency. I remember you talking about that, but I don't remember if that was the only reason or what made you like uh, want on. to do it. Let me first get, bring you back into share play. Yeah. Because this bonus stage is fucking well, bananas, all right. So, <laughs> um, I well, actually, I think it was a mix of things. So it was first of all, it was free on PS Plus. <laughs> that's it the helps. most important thing. <laughs> no barrier to entry. Yeah, that's the first thing. Um, second thing was I was really into um the Angry Joe show at the time. I was really oh, yeah. in, I was really into him because uh, our old buddy Evan. He, he's like a huge fan of his and he got me into watching his stuff and he had done a review on it um so i watched that and i, I think that's what kind of got me interested and so i decided to give it a shot because they were saying you know it's, it's not it's not your you know not it's not oh jeez oh jeez <laughs> guys like you gotta, I think that, you, you, gotta hit, you gotta hit both those boxes both I think, and then jump up and still yeah. with them at a time to get over are you kidding me Three seconds, on, bro. Man. You got you got plenty of time. Three seconds. <laughs> plenty of time. Three seconds. What can you do in three seconds? <laughs> Stand um, up. Yep. Barely. It. It's hard. I'm almost thirty. <gasps> Come now, on. So. Um. Yeah. So uh, and I I think I I decided to just finally give a shot, and I kind of knew that I needed to kind of bro broaden my horizons a bit. Um. So I decided to give it a shot, and then I was I was fucking hooked. Just, just hook, man. Okay, hold on. No! <laughs> yeah, but you gotta do that fast. I oh. wasn't even thinking about it, because not only do you have to get up there, but you have to get off of it That's before what I was it saying. explodes. That's I what didn't I was even saying. think about it. That's I almost like, yeah, three it. seconds, enough time? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Um, I found that I, give it, I finally gave it a shot, and I was... Oh, fuck. Why doesn't it both boxes? Come on. <laughs> Finally gave it a shot. I loved it, and I was just through the moon for it. The Last Light is a phenomenal game. If you haven't played it, play that shit. Either on PC, last gen, the Redux, it, it don't matter, man. Play it. What did you think Probably about uh, the, the new game. Metro? Hold on. Oh, good shit. Gosh, man. And then, like, how are you supposed to fucking get that? Like. You jump up and around, and then you have to belly bomb. How are you supposed to even get that, man? Or booty bomb. How you get? Um, I haven't. I played it. I have Exodus. I have not played it though. 
Yeah, I, I played it and, I don't know, wasn't feeling it. Of course, I played the, the first, I tried playing Last Light and, and didn't really care for it too much. And that's, that's the weird thing about me and you is that uh -huh. we can... Uh, <laughs> so hard to get over. <laughs> oh, there you, there you there go. Go, oh. go, gamer, move. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I laugh if you die right here. Uh, hold on. There's one up there. I know. Oh, oh nice. You like oh. hit it with your hair. Oh, who cares, man? Who cares? Now you have right. to get back. Okay, how do I? Oh wait, how? No, you yeah. can't. How do you get what? back, bro? What? How do you get back? Uh, oh. This game, man. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> what are you supposed to do? Oh man, alright, alright, I'm gonna help you out. What's this level called? No, don't look fuck that. No, don't look it up. <laughs> no. I'll just have to I'll have to figure it out later on my own, but just okay, what the fuck? Okay. You have to like not hit that or something, which is like what? <laughs> what? I'm so lost now. Like I Dude, like I'm like I feel like I'm playing like this is not Resident <laughs> Evil. Like, why am I having to solve puzzles? This isn't this isn't fuck. What's that game? Firelight? What was that? Firewatch or whatever? Like, come on, man. <sighs> they need to rename these the challenge rooms. Like, this is not a bonus. This is a challenge. This is ridiculous. Yeah, I don't I don't see I, I I don't. There's no way to get there. Like, you there has to be a way to get back. Cause there's no way to, to to get there without. You know what? You know what? Fuck it. I'm not. I'm not even gonna do it. I'm not. Because <laughs> I don't. I literally don't know how to solve that. Fuck that. And this is when I'm just like, like this. Ugh. <laughs> it's like how, how much is too much challenge? You know, like come <laughs> on. How much is too much? Is this? Is this like a like? Having something that you love just like change and hurt you in the inside. No, it's not the change. It's the fucking like. It's how they're going about making the challenge. It just—it's not fun. And I want it to be fun. Everything else was fun, but that's not fun. I don't like fucking puzzles. <laughs> I don't like—I don't like it figuratively or literally. I don't. I really don't. Everything else was like just like okay, whatever. I can I move on. I'll live. That was just I, that's the kind of shit I don't like in games. I just don't. That's just me though. Some people fucking love that shit. I hate that shit. I've always hated that shit because I don't like fucking thinking when I'm playing games. That's why as, I don't play puzzle games. As we've seen, because yeah, you know, he. That's why I play easy mode on like every game I fucking own because I don't. <laughs> I don't. Life's hard enough, man. All right. Last thing I need is to fucking be stressed out when I'm playing a game. Well, I, I love I love that you you play easy mode on a lot of games, but then you also have like almost platinum Neo. Oh no, I've I've actually hundred percent in Neo now. Okay, fine, whatever. hundred percent in Neo, like an extremely challenging game. But I guess it doesn't require a lot of thinking per se. It just requires a lot of skill. Maybe that's the difference. But you'll Maybe still play easy mode on on other games that, you know, the difficulty is just about having more, a little bit more skill. At least know that I don't ask to play on harder difficulties, all right? It, there's, there's the difference. There are people <laughs> who pride themselves on it and they're like, oh, I always gotta play the fucking hard mode, bro. That's, that's just what I, that's just, that's just me, bro. That, that's just what I do, man. I'm just like, you know what, fuck you. Like, no. Um, I I would say I don't it, I don't want that life. I only do it because I because fucking trophies, man. All right, <laughs> that's, that's the only reason why. And, and trust me, if I had my choice, I wouldn't have put those trophies in the game. Glad. I uh, for me, if 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 the if the as long as it's not just purely like you take less, you take more damage, they take less damage, kind of difficulty. If it adds something to the game, then then I'll. I'll consider it because didn't you play? Um, didn't you play New Vegas on? Uh, oh, the, they call it what they call it Survivor Mode or something. Yeah, whatever the the you have to like eat, sleep, and drink. 
do you, you don't know what you have to do is it's not uh, if I remember correctly it was um you had like uh, like you did have to make sure you ate food like you did you could you could get you could go hungry um, and like radiation of course played a factor um, it, they called it hardcore mode there we go but the difficulty of the enemies stayed the same it wasn't something that affected um, game difficulty. It basically kind of just added more survivor elements to the game. Mm. That's what it was. At least that's what it was in New Vegas. I don't know what they did for Fallout 4 with it, but that's what, that's how it, that's how it worked in New Vegas. And that one, that was just more of an annoyance. But since the enemies were still, you could still have like the game difficulty be easy. It was fine. Yeah. Yeah. It's I something uh, to keep track of. So it's so only. Yeah. Oh, I was gonna say something annoying about GameStop, but continue. <laughs> Believe me, it's it's related. It's related. It's related. No, it's just I just died again. I'm just I just fucking I just can't. You have you almost had one. That one like two deaths ago, you had, and then you just jumped into the flames of the box. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, the only game still to this day that has done game difficulty properly is the original Last of Us. To my opinion, that is the only game that has actually done difficulty properly. By making resources more scarce and... It... Because it still felt like a balanced game. Um, yes, clickers were more sensitive to hearing. Yes, resources were far more scarce. Um, yes, Human enemies did take more damage. Um, yes, you took less damage comparatively, but it never you. Despite those challenges, you never felt that disadvantaged because you just had to be more stealthy with the game. Yeah, it was which just, is not hard to do. Yeah, it just made you play more like you would in real life. Yeah, you actually, it actually does make you feel like a survivor, which is the point of that game. <laughs> um, even grounded mode, which is a difficulty they added after the game was played. And that's the one was, that they take away your sense. Well, so does survivor right? mode. Survivor does uh, the same. But grounded just makes it even, I guess, harder, I guess. And actually, you know what? It is, it is harder. So I've played survivor and i played grounded, and there is a difference, mainly in the amount of resources that you can find. Um, everything else is about the same. Like clickers are about the same sense of, you know, sensitivity to hearing, you know, enemy damage input. That's about the same. Okay. okay. Um, yeah, everything's about the same, except for like resources. Oh, damn it. But everything else is, you know, but but you still like you felt like like at the end of it, you didn't feel like you had to like fucking like 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 you know calm your breath and like check your heart rate make sure you weren't like you know having too high blood pressure or something like you don't have to do any of that you i mean you, you feel like you had a challenge no doubt about it but you like you felt okay you still feel okay yeah and i know well, it's because i've i've beaten it on ps4 and ps oh, sorry ps3 and ps4 um so i've done it twice now oh jeez. have you played last of us 2 yet no but I, and I know they've added grounded, I think, to it, and I'm expecting it to be probably about the same, same experience, because they seem to know what they're doing when it comes to difficulty. Because Uncharted, the Uncharted series, they didn't know what they were doing. It, it was just all artificial difficulty with spikes, and it was, it was fucking a nightmare. Um, <laughs> every game in that series, at least in the first three, because I haven't played four, um, had a part of that game that was a fucking nightmare just to get through. <laughs> Every there's a part, at least for me, there was a part in every one of those fucking games that was just like, just like, am I stuck here? Am I, am I just am I just not am I just not gonna make it past this, is, this at all? This is the end of the game for me. Yeah, is, is this it? Is, is this is I guess I guess this is it. Okay, if I had gone, if I had figured out how to get that bonus stage, I would have had all the boxes. There you go. So at least I, at least that would have been the first one on the on the channel. I could have saw. Oh, she looks. She's wearing a cute ass little backwards cap too <laughs> you know what i may because i'm gonna play this eventually on my own profile because and i and if i get to the level i may go back and show you and everyone else what the hell you're i'd like to see it because i, like I bet it. you it's 
it's it's just bonkers. I bet you it's bonkers. I bet you it is. But uh, sorry this went too long. This level is hard, and also it's even harder playing this when you're trying to have a in-depth conversation about certain as, things. As he said, pretty much on every video we've ever recorded. I need everyone to understand, right? <laughs> I mean, people still tell me they're like, "Bro, like you do, like I would, I would have died so many more times and yada yada." And like, hey, thank you, but <laughs> I still need to let you guys know how hard this fucking is. All right, <laughs> like this shit is this shit is all so hard. But hey, I still have seventy four lives, so that's good. Because <laughs> I, uh, I bet you, you would have lost all your lives by now. So probably, yeah. Oh, hey, I've there's a. I, I don't think it's I don't think it's here now, but there's a little mask to the right of Coco. Yeah, that's it. I think we're gonna get a new mask in this level. Ooh. Or maybe we'll have to use a mask in this level. Something. I don't, I don't know. Well, anyways, guys, we're gonna wrap up this episode here. Um, I don't know what else to say. This, this shit's hard. This shit's hard. And if it gets if it's if more stupid shit like that happens in the game, I'm gonna be really pissed. Because I don't like, I don't like it. The impossible challenge rooms. I don't like it. All right, I don't like it. But anyways, guys. All right. Well, David lost share play connection, so I guess it's time for us to go. So, <laughs> if you like what we're doing, please like, comment, subscribe as usual. Um, let me know if you like hard games, because I don't. And uh, we'll except for you guys. Neo. That, that doesn't count. And we will <laughs> see you guys next time. Goodbye.